Hi guys, I just want to apologise that you can see my legs and my feet in some clips of this video. I didn't realise the camera was at a bit of an angle and um, I was actually sat in my conservatory enjoying the really hot sunshine when I filmed this. So I do apologise but it's not as bad throughout the majority of the video. Um, so as you can see from the title, this video will be showing myself setting up my new creative journal. Um, I purchased this Webster's Pages standard size traveller's notebook from my friend Anna at Planacon, Cam's Planacon. And I absolutely love it. It's lilac suede, so it's something a little bit different for me. Um, but I kept it really simple with the pockets. I just moved everything over from my previous traveller's notebook because I didn't think there was much point in changing the pocket setup when I really liked how it looked. So as you can see, I'm literally just moving everything over um, and it's the same as it was in my previous creative journal. Um, all of these paper clips, apart from the little ribbon ones, are from Cherry Blossom in the Market Square. She makes beautiful felt paper clips. And I'm just adding in a photo of one of my bunnies. Her name is What's It? And recently I took some photos of them all wearing my old hairbands as flower crowns and they turned out so cute. And I printed some of them off and I had this one spare so I've just popped it in the pocket. There's kind of an unintentional bunny theme in this traveller's notebook which you'll see shortly. Um, I promise it wasn't intentional but I'm not complaining about it either. Um, so here is some bunny themed vellum, um, this is from Philo Fabulous and again I picked this up at Cam's Planicon. So I just sort of eyeballed it, how long, um, how wide even it needed to be to make a little dashboard for one of my notebooks and I just cut it with my trimmer. And now I'm rounding the corners because all of my notebooks have rounded corners and I prefer it that way. Um, funnily enough, with Project Life I don't like rounded corners anymore, but with my creative journal I do. Um, so I just used my corner rounder to round the corners of that vellum and I love how that turns out. It makes me so happy every single time I open my creative journal. Then I have this watercolour paper insert, which I think was from Prima, but again I purchased it from Anna at Planacon. It has really lovely thick watercolour paper in it, and again I'm rounding the corners. This probably seems like a massive waste of time, but I genuinely just prefer how they look with rounded corners and it like fits in with the rest of my notebook if it has rounded corners. So I just spent some time doing it. It didn't take me too long. If anyone's wondering, my corner rounder is just from Hobbycraft, I believe. And this uh, wallet with my photos in and my stickers is from the original Midori brand, I think. I have another Webster's Pages insert there with houses on it. I'm going to use that to document our upcoming house move. We've already started packing and things are progressing, so hopefully I'll have lots to document. I don't know where that little bunny rabbit bookmark was from. My friend Joey actually hid it in my bag at Cam's Planicon. She found it on the swaps table and thought I would like it, so she just popped it in. This charm is from Jenny at Stitch and Weave and I've attached a cloudy cow gem onto there as well. That's my friend Daisy's shop. I will link all these people below. So there you have it. That is my new creative journal setup. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.